So good morning everyone, it's about 11 o'clock here in Toronto and this is Radio Romania coming in on the 16 meter band here in Toronto. And I really want to talk about that today, what I'd like to talk about a little bit is how you go about using the gain control on the on this radio, the Sanjean ATS-909X2, and the gain control on this radio is on the side here, is a little knob. And there are a variety of ways you can use this. I often have tended to keep the gain up all the way, because my antenna system, and nothing I've set up here, will actually overload this radio. But that's not necessarily the best way to do it. So we're listening to this, we're getting about 20 dB of signal to noise. Um, it's useful to set the display for that setting um, because on this radio you also get a set for signal meter. Exactly what the units of that are doesn't really matter. So let's roll off the station. And we've got the gain up all the way. So you can see that the noise environment here is just showing on the meter. So you can actually back off the gain a little bit if you want, and then roll back up to the station. And let's see if the signal to noise has changed. So in fact, backing the uh, RF gain off is sometimes helpful in managing the signal to noise on this radio. But what it mostly does is it makes tuning around more pleasant. So now if I tune around I can turn up the volume a little bit and hear what's going on. I don't expect to hear much more here. Where this becomes really interesting though is in higher noise situations. So let's move this down to the 49 meter band, which of course is pretty well closed right now. So let's turn the RF gain So you can see that the noise level here is much higher. So we can turn this down. Now we're not going to hear much on the 49 meter band at this time of day. Except for local short wave, CFRB, coming from, well, just outside Toronto. Local short wave voice, and I can address some things like So, tuning around here is relatively pleasant, but if you jack up the RF gain, it's just noisy and unpleasant. And turning it down, so we'll notice the signal noise, it keeps it about 12, 14 dB. If we turn down the RF gain, I often do it so it's just at the edge of the meter, just because. It doesn't actually, in this case it's dropped the same to a bit, so we probably turned it down too much. Or the conditions have just changed. So when you're actually listening, it doesn't necessarily make a whole lot of difference, but when you're tuning around, it certainly is pleasanter to turn down the gain sometimes. Now, I often leave it up if I'm looking for weak stations because I want to kind of see if I can hear something through that and then maybe go muck around through the antenna. So if we were to go to, say, the 31 meter band where we might find something now, turn that down. 
don't know if we'll find anything. Maybe right up towards 10,000. Right, it just jumps right out at you as you turn to it. Oh, we're not hearing the time signal. So again, can we make it out when we turn it up? No, no, no. We're just turning up the noise effectively. There we go. Now we could try turning out here. And now we have it coming in very clearly. So what you'll note, as I've done this, is in different bands, you need to readjust the uh, RF gain for the particular band you're in. So that's going to be, uh, that's going to have an impact depending on, you know, obviously the upper bands are quieter right now. If you go down to 40 meters, uh, 49 meters, it's really noisy up here. That actually seems like a pretty good day. Um, you know, if we go all the way up to the 19 meter band, we can put the gain up all the way. Or sorry, the 16 meter band. Right? So, we can put the gain up all the way, nice and quiet. has an RF gain tensiometer. A lot of the Texans, the, I think, have a three-position switch, which you can use exactly the same way. I don't really think you need more than three positions for this to work. And a lot of other radios have a D DX local switch, which also should probably be put in the, you know, in the quieter position um, for when you're using it. Now, another way you could mess around with the antenna gain is if you're using a random wire, you can change this length of the wire. It's going to change the effective sensitivity of, of your antenna, right? It's going to increase the voltage that comes in through this jack. On a radio like this, hooked into the MLS uh, 30 plus, that's not really the case. That's being driven by the amplifier on the antenna. So what we're setting when we set the RF gate is really just where the noise floor is, if that makes sense. Um, I believe it's possible to change the game setting on the MLS, uh, MLE 30 plus, um, but I haven't played around with that myself because you know, this setting seems to solve the problem for me. So I hope that was helpful. 
if you're in a high noise environment, it's sometimes worth playing around with antenna gain, and you do get sometimes um, diminishing returns as your antenna becomes more and more sensitive. The the goal then usually is to get it away from noise sources, which is why I'm using the uh, MLA 30 plus as opposed to other antenna forms right now. Anyway, thanks.